Hello and welcome to this new podcast. This is number six now with Los Amigos Tulum. We have again a very special guest today with us here in, in our little screening room right in front of Central Park. We are today with Roberto Barani. You are born in Argentina, but yeah. actually has five passwords because you worked all over the world, traveled all over the world. You got more than 25 years experience in high luxury real estate and you worked for companies like Related, W, Four Seasons. So it's really great to have you here and have a nice discussion with you about this market because you are actually the first time in Tulum, right? This is my first time in Tulum. Not my first time in Quintana Roo, but yes, in Tulum. And you live, your, your home base is? My home base is in Miami, Florida. So you had now a week in Tulum. What do you think? First of all, thank you for inviting me over, for giving me the opportunity to know Tulum and to know these amazing, amazing projects where we are in Los Amigos. And uh, being my first time in Tulum, I feel really very inspired for everything that I've seen and how the real estate market grow, grows in Mexico and taking advantages of how in other places going down the drainage and here is going all the way up. So I believe that it's very inspirational for a person like me. I will hire you as my PR guy. He did a presentation about myself in few words in kind of what we call an elevator speech that I couldn't make it better. But nothing that he said is true. No, no, something that he said is true. Most of what he said is true. All is true. But the truth of the matter is what Actually, is going I gave on. the presentation. I said, look, I can present you so much, but better you come to Tulum and experience everything by yourself. Because exactly. we met in Miami, actually, first time. We, we met. No, we met first over LinkedIn. And actually, that was the real way. And that was a situation for me that works on the other way about. Normally, I the the developer comes to me or comes to my team and show me the project in this particular case and by accident i would say i was surfing doing some due diligence and i found out tulum los amigos and i love los amigos as a name and then i saw a flower very high tech i am an architect my mother is also an architect I've been surrounded by designers all my life and especially for those that are innovators and are looking for striking the chord and making a difference and running the extra mile, whatever the way you want to say it. And when I saw that flower open turning from north to, from south to north, sorry, and, and following the sun and providing energy to a building, I went over, overwhelmed and ballistic and I said, I want to talk to these people. It took me a couple of months to meet you personally. You didn't answer. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that you were very busy as I were. But finally we're here. I put my own eyes into that flower that was a magneto for me and that I believe that in the future will become the ISO and logo typo of what Los Amigos reflects, which is a definition or a redefinition of luxury or contemporary modern architecture into sustainability and real sustainability, not only toys, because the flower looked like a toy for me, but behind that there is a concept, which is that everything that surrounds that toy also conveys the idea of what sustainability means and as the project evolves and as the developer learns more about what other sustainable things can contribute to put all them together i believe that los amigos can become the first and the most important developer in mexico that has considered sustainability as the option for those potential buyers that understand that buying real estate is just not only spending money that they have in an aspirational project, but make a positive impact to the world and make a difference with what they buy. And I believe that that's the reason why I get so well and so get along with the team, because we are pretty much aligned on that. On the values, yeah. On, on those values, on those missions. 
You sold real estate for big companies all around the world, mostly Miami, I think. And you did actually Mexico too, right? You yes, I lived Miami. in Mexico for seven. I'm almost Mexican. I did not apply for my Mexican passport because I didn't have the time yet, but I will. I lived in Mexico for six years. I work on the other coast in Nayarit and in Jalisco, developing projects for top developers like the Related Group or Resortcom International, both making hotels and residences and branded residences all by the beach. So transporting the experience of the West Coast to the East Coast can also help you to put the project on the map. There is something very important in real estate. We all say location, location, location. It's the uh, it's actually the thing. But today, because of the internet connection, the Wi-Fi and the world that has become smaller, smaller and smaller, you can also transform location. You can create that location that you're looking for. Like Mayans here in Mexico have done in the past. They transform the area where they set up in order to make that area work and help them to live. So although being by the water in places like Tulum or like in all the Caribbean is kind of like the thing we all want to be by the water, there are some others that might want to have the option of not being by the water but being close to the water. And if the, I don't have the water, I have some other things. I might have a sustainable project where I live. I might live surrounded by a jungle because that's what I want. I live in Chicago, surrounded by skyscrapers. And here I want to hear the birds. And there are some others that say, I'm scared of the water because of the hurricanes. So there, there is always something for everybody. And trying to find the niche of who your potential buyers are is what takes your projects to the that's to, a good point to the success because you represented companies who sold high luxury to the mm -hmm. world mm -hmm. we think here that the next luxury is actually sustainability how how what is the impact you make on the world you think we have a chance to compete with this concept i believe that as i mentioned at the very beginning not only you have the chance maybe not only you are the pioneers but also you can be the leaders. You can convert this concept of sustainability and luxury. The luxury today, in today's world, leave is a luxury. Health is a luxury. If you don't have health, you don't have anything. When you die, you die and you leave with nothing as you came. So the way you live your life is the luxury of living. And if you have that concept in your mind and you can transfer that to some other people and you can create that culture around, let's start with your family, friends and inner circles and then expand it to the rest of the world and to the rest of the people, you are making a contribution. If I learn that my developer across the street is going sustainable as I do, I will be very proud. He has learned from me that we can live in a better world, that we can take care of our nature and our environment, and we can both make money. And having that said, as you mentioned, you can be the pioneer, you can be the first, or you can be the leader. You choose the direction you want. Today, I believe you're here. The next step is to become the leader the leader in Mexico or in the Riviera Maya to build everything under those parameters and to make your clients know why living in Tulum and living in this project can make a positive impact to the world. It sounds very lyric and dramatic and like romantic. But that's what clients say. Clients say, I'm really proud of my investment with you in this town. And that's, that's why we then we work all together great 
because we, our team and everyone who works here feels the same. We feel proud on the work we do because we think we've done really a positive impact in this new region because the town is less than 11 years officially. So it's we're part of something completely new here, creating a community, creating a city and we want it to make as sustainable as we can with all our work we're doing and the clients are the most important part of it. And if they feel the same values, feel the same intention and after they made the investment, they feel proud of their decision then the, the the value is pretty much aligned with everyone. The, yeah. the, they will help you not only to sell the project, they will help you to sell the idea of living in a much better world. And uh, I believe that Mexico has that opportunity. Mm -hmm. When you mentioned that you are from Germany and in Germany there is not too much sun, so probably that beautiful A lot of solar panels flower, but no sun, yeah. That, that smart flower wouldn't wear that well as it were here. It's smarter to put the smart flower here in Tulum. It's smarter <laughs> to put the smart flower in Tulum, that's yeah. exactly. So uh, that was to people like me, and I am not the only one, there are a lot of people out there that think the same way. Uh, I can easily be a buyer of Los Amigos, but most importantly, I can easily be a broker or a, help, or a person that can sell and market Los Amigos because I feel the same way. And there are a lot of people out there that if they don't feel the same way, we teach them how to and they will learn because it's all about putting in front of the eyes of people things that they probably don't even need, that they don't even know that they exist exactly. yeah. and create the aspiration of having that. In real estate, and especially in luxury real estate, people don't buy places to live. People buy places because it's, like we say in Britain, posh to own something somewhere else in the world because they want to move some money out of where they live or because they want to have a return on the investment of where they buy. If you can combine all this and on top of it, look, you are making a positive impact in this world. Well, you have more than half of the world the way resolved. One day, and as a story, little story, I had the opportunity to sit like now with Nico, with Leonardo DiCaprio. I was working with W Hotel in Los Angeles, California, which is a certified green building. It has the certification that everything in there is green. And because of that, there were many buyers interested in buying that because of that certification and the guy was really very focused all the time on making people realize how important it is to especially for the rich people especially for those who have some more time to think about it because when I say that to a person that tomorrow doesn't have enough money to pay the electricity bill might probably can not focus on that, has to focus on a day-to-day -day life. He said focus. <laughs> focus. <laughs> but uh, for those who are on a different level that already have made their life right. in terms of their financial situation, some of them, not all of them, understand that they can make a contribution to the world. And that's why these developers, this developer in particular, can reach out international markets and can reach out international buyers and can also obviously domestic buyers, obviously, using this tagline of sustainability, real sustainability, because it's the mission and the vision of the developers and the people that were here.